What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Android on your Steam Deck. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Alright, on to the video itself. Let me go ahead and put myself in the corner here and we can see my Steam Deck. And I plugged in a mouse, so yes, the mouse does work. I don't have a wireless keyboard, but I do have a mouse here, so that's good. Um, in order to do this, we're going to need to go into the desktop mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the start menu and go to power and choose switch to desktop. All right, we are now in desktop mode. We can go ahead and skip the introductions here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head over to your application launcher and we're going to go to settings here and go to system settings. Inside system settings, we can click on users and choose the main user, which is deck. And it's an admin, but it doesn't have a password. So let's go ahead and change the password. And I'm gonna make this something really easy. All right, and once you've chosen a password, you just go ahead and choose set password. And we can basically close this out. Now we're gonna to go to the application launcher and go to system and choose console. You might get a KDE wallet service. Just go ahead and choose classic and finish. That's the fastest way to go ahead and do that. And then uh, you'll need to enter your password to do this as well. All right, now that we've gone ahead and dealt with all the password stuff, we can go ahead and go to our application launcher, go to system and go to console. And, and this is the part that's gonna take quite a bit of writing here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in the description so you can paste this yourself, but uh, you will need to copy and paste this or type it out into the Steam Deck and then press enter and the process will start. Then you're gonna type in CD SteamOS-WayDroid-Uninstaller and that's going to open up the actual directory. All right, now we need to add some permissions. So now you're gonna type chmod uh, plus x and then the actual name of the install file which is steamos-waydroid-installer.sh so we'll go ahead and run that command and that's good to go. All right, now you're gonna uh, type in period forward slash steamos dash waydroid dash installer dot sh to actually run it and we'll hit enter. And you can see that it is installing, but it needs a password. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that password. And now the rest of the install is running. So now we can just wait a bit and let it run. All right. So the installer has finished and now we're just going to go back to gaming mode. All right, so it has restarted. Let's go ahead and go into the Steam menu and go to our library. Now inside our library, we can go to non-Steam. Now you'll see Android Waydroid cage.sh. We're going to we're going to go ahead and press A on that. And then we're going to go to the controller menu first because there's one option we need to change. We need to go to edit layout and then go all the way down to action sets. We're going to choose always on command and the command we're going to add is over here in system. We're going to use touchscreen native support. So let's go ahead and choose that one. And now we can go back. Now let's head to the left and choose play and press OK. And now Android is loading. We're using Lineage OS here. And you can see that we have a full Android experience. If I move this over to the left, we even have our Google Play icon on the right hand side. And all you got to do is I can actually unplug this and show you here. All you got to do is use it like any other device. So you can swipe up, you can swipe down. You can go to the Google Play Store and sign in and get all of your apps and good stuff like that. Once you're done, you can still go ahead and uh, just choose the exit game button and it will close Android. Otherwise, you can use it just like you would normally. You can even install apps that will allow you to run games on their side. Uh, for example, if they are only phone games, um, you can actually run them in landscape mode as well. Very, very cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a good one. Peace.
rocks and kudos. We rock that pseudo administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.